So I've been working on uh, on the, this gearbox here, just trying to to figure out a little cheaper way, of course, and uh, and just having fun with these wooden gears that I made up using Matthias uh, Wandel's uh, gear generator program that he sells. Uh, very impressed with the program too. I must say it's well worth the money if you guys ever thought about making some wooden gears and you know can think of something that you'd like to use them for it's well worth the money he's charging for you and uh, what I'll do is I'll post a link in this video to show you where you can find this uh, generator and what it'll do is I've got a bunch of them floating around here I guess I don't know where they're just gone right now but I did have some some stencils here and what you'll do is you'll get a printout and uh, and of the gear that you want and then you can you can see the remnants of on this this one here and then you'll just be able to cut it out with your bandsaw and uh, and they you know you, you I'm sure you'll find many uses and if you go over to his channel you'll you'll see that he's found many uses for them too they're pretty slick so uh, this one here the, the the last version that I made with the belt uh, was way quieter there's no question about it running wooden gears they're going to be noise but like Matthias said if you want to scream you know look I'm made of wood then there's nothing but no better way than to use some wooden gears. So uh, this thing is making some noise, but the gear reduction is there. You know, I'm down uh, on this last gear here. I'm down to less than 20 RPMs on this, and uh, and you know I can't stop it. I've been I tried a few times to kind of grab it and hold it, but there's no stopping it. There's just tons of power there, and this is only a one third horsepower furnace blower motor. So you know I've got a few different steps here. And, uh, and with the first one, I started out with the belt. So not 100% sure which uh, gearbox I'm going to use for the, uh, for the power feeder for the router. You know, this is, would be a lot cheaper, and then I wouldn't have to buy any more belts for the other little projects that I got planned uh, that use gearboxes. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to let this run for a while, just set it aside and let it run and see if it does smooth out a little bit more uh, with the, the teeth wearing in. Or kind of working in uh, we'll just have to wait and see so just thought I'd shoot you a video and just show you just how far I got this thing so far so what I'll do is I'll turn it on and and let you have a look at it running there and then I'll bring the camera in and and, uh, and kind of give a close-up here showing you how I made it As you can hear it, it, it is pretty noisy but you know it's, uh, it's gear which has another one hooked to the side of it and then same thing back to that gear which has a little one hooked to it and then back to this one and this one's got me down you know, somewhere is pretty close to 20 rpms I'm guessing I didn't really time it or anything but uh, you know, pretty slick I'm pretty impressed with the with the uh, gear generator that Matthias has uh, developed in this uh, selling this program for so you know these are just a couple of examples of different size gears that you can make with it and uh, you know I'm sure I'm going to use it a lot in the future so you know as noisy as this thing is it's pretty efficient you know if I try to grab that and hold it uh, there's no stopping it like I said so uh, you know and it would make it a lot quicker to make another gear now that I've got this template and this actually is my template here that I was using so there we go so another little neat little project that I had a lot of fun making and uh, you know you'll see more of this uh, in future videos I'm sure. So keep tuning in and I thank you for watching.